bot press chatbot tutorial hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with bot press so let's get into it now bot press is a ai based chatbot and you can build an amazing chatbot that responds to your customers day and night whenever they require plus with the current situation you really need to be able to provide customers with personalized answers and answers catered to their questions so even if you build an extensive knowledge base not all customers are willing to read through everything and they want something that is catered to them. So building a bot with BotPress can be a great way to improve the overall stats of your website. Now let's get into actually building a bot. So to get started, simply head on over to BotPress. Now once you do that, click on get started and it's completely free. You don't need to put in your credit card or anything. You can sign up with email, Microsoft, Google, LinkedIn, or GitHub. And I'm just using Gmail to get started with. And I'm just going to click on continue over here. And just like that, our BotPress account has been created. Now. You will see you will have a default workspace and on the top right you have your workspace collaborators, usage and subscriptions, audits, integrations, and settings. Now you can go into settings to customize the workspace and you can also build a new workspace from scratch. So let's say Durden chatbot. So let's say I want to dedicate a workspace to build a chatbot for one particular website. I can do that. And you can link your social media accounts over here as well. Now from here, it's very simple. Click on create chatbot to build your first chatbot. So now once you have done that, this will lead you to the BotPress studio. And once you have your studio started, you have three different options. You have learn BotPress, which is going to showcase the basic features then start from scratch or AI public personality. Now, one thing to note is that if you have a very professional website, so if you have a travel agency, if you're running a restaurant, if you are, you know, very serious, if your industry is a very serious industry, always start from scratch. No, don't ever go with the AI public personality. However, if you have a business that is not so serious, and by that I mean, you know, a business where you have the liberty to be frank. So if you are in a retail business and you know your customers are young people that will understand, you know, your humor, then you can go with the public personality AI bot. But we're going to start from scratch because I'm going to show you guys a very you know standard bot to build and then later on we can take a look at some of the other features so i'm going to click on use template and this is going to be an empty bot from where we can get started now one thing you will note once you open up the bot press studio on your left you have your flows agents library and hooks then you have your main error timeouts conversation ends and then your default knowledge base now before i build any of my bots i like to go ahead and put in my default knowledge base so to add the information that you might have already built on so if you already have built your privacy policy shipping policy all that you can click on over here and link your website so let's say i have this website over here i'll just click on visit site and i'm just going to copy this over here and now i can click on paste and i can click on discover pages and now it's going to take a look at all the pages and i'll just click on add pages now it's going to scan through all of the information present within my website present within our store and you can add documents in the same way you can add any other source of knowledge you can add your own you know knowledge base items you might have thought of so if you have text you want to enter if you want to search on web if you want to add you know documents just add all of that i have added a simple little website link now within your website it's still going to take some time to you know mark through all of the data so i'm going to let this scan and in the meanwhile let's just start building our chatbot so first off you have your main channel this is going to be the start of any conversation you will see on the right you have configure in which knowledge bases your chatbot will try to find an answer when a user asks a question so i will go for the default knowledge base then after that we're going to enter our message to send 
So let's say I will add this message to the chatbot user. Hi, welcome to Durden. Do you have any questions like this? Now this would be the first message and this is going to be hi. Or if you want, we can build some generative suggestions like this. Now after that, this is like the first step. This is our first node. From here, I'm going to remove the end section because we want to build another node. You guys can see this is going to be our first section, which is going to be interaction like this. Now, from here, we can get started with building the new user end. So we can build and then we can create a standard node over here, which is going to be questions like this and then we can add and add a card so let's say we are going to reply with some text and that is a, another condition you can add over here where there is going to be a trigger they can select a trigger like this question i'll show you guys how to do that so we have one question and then it could have multi varying answers so from here it's going to link to our trigger and i'm going to select a trigger which might be conversation started and I'm even going to remove this. So let's say I just go ahead, enter this from here and then we have our answers like this. Now over here, we can also set up, you know, multiple different answers to a question and then you can go ahead and go into the variable section or you can just go into the flow logic intent and then expression and you can go on ahead and ask it to build you know multiple choice answers operating system quote knowledge queries so you can just add all of those if you want to make this a bit simpler uh, we can go ahead and base uh, ai generated prompt so let's say shipping question shipping question like this and then it's going to build a output variable shipping times like this and then we can build our capture information as well we can have our query knowledge bases like this and uh, the query could be anything that can be stored in our particular knowledge base variable now these are just some you know starting from scratch examples if you are looking to automate this process you can easily do that as well and get started with a default document which is always going to be you know easier to set up but you know you still do have to customize this according to your particular store so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with bot press if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe